Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in the beginning of a new campaign in Old World Blues, Trouble in Paradise. Now, as you can tell by the thumbnail, and that by the title of this video, this campaign, you kind of have an idea who I'm going to be playing as, but game rules first. So, uh, let me go ahead and load a preset, Yakuza preset, or Yakuza, 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 anyways, uh, I'm not going to buff anybody. Maybe in some campaign, I will buff someone sometime to see how strong they can get. But in this campaign, I shall not. We're going to have normal gameplay rules. Nothing's going to be different. AI behavior, though, will be just a tad different than normal. Now, I will say this. Because we're playing as the Yakuza territories, or Yakuza, I'm not going to alter the paths that New Reno, Vault City, Pale Folk, Vipers, Jackals, the people around me, especially the Desert Rangers as well, I'm not going to alter their paths. I want it to be completely random. I have no idea what they're going to do. But, Chichen Itza... We'll go into Guzman, Broken Coast, we'll go under Ragnar, and as you can tell, I've left most of these guys kind of default. Republic of the Rio Grande, we'll go Rosado, Troll Warren, uh, they get to fight the Brotherhood first, Washington Brotherhood, but let's have them go with this Southern push and fight off Arroyo and Klamath and see what happens with them. Oh, and I do want to say, I want the 80s to do the Terror of Utah, which means they'll go to war with the White Legs, as well as New Canaan, which I think will be kind of cool. Um, in the past two campaigns, also for the White Legs, we've seen them kill off New Canaan, but, and do the White Claws, but Ammonites? I don't know, we'll leave it default. That's cool. Anyways, historical AI is off, but let us begin our campaign. Hmm. Alright. Alright, here we go, Pip-Boy. Love you, Pip-Boy. So one thing that you want to know about the Yakuza... Uh, nation, which I am using the mod compilation that l lets us have the Yakuza Focus Tree special sub mod. But we have the Yakuza clan, so each clan has their own influence. When a clan becomes most influential, they give you their bonus. Choosing a clan will be favored and will gain more influence than others. Right now, we have the Yamaguchi, which gives us more construction speed as well as production efficiency cap. The Kamikaze Woku, Woku gives us more daily army XP, division training speed. The Oyagami, which I believe is the more democracy side thing of the group, is less research speed, more population. And then the Jaitai gives you more attack defense on core territory, which is okay. But anyways, we start off with five divisions under no portrait, or really no image. Bushido Hido will put you under someone eventually. We have two political power. We have a national focus, which will be fleeing with hope. The Yakuza tell stories of their flight from their homeland. How do these stories go, of course? I don't know. And one thing you want to start off with, thinking about the Yakuza, at least how I'm going to do it. Maybe you'll play it differently. That's okay. We have dynamite and grenades. We don't need both. So goodbye, dynamite. And we have saws and LMGs. Goodbye, saws. Pipe guns. This gives you more breakthrough. Uh, I'm going to use pipe guns for now just because we already have a pretty good efficiency with it. So, frag grenades, thank you. And then the rest on guns. Research looks good. Now, the thing you want to know about the Yakuza is that they can go down many, many paths, which is really awesome. But before I choose a land option, we've got to understand. We can train our people, and we can have the art of war. But, using the Yakuza, you can use robots, which automated warfare gives you a good bonus to using robots, which is... Pretty nice. Doesn't help you with armor, though, which makes sense. Automate our workshops, so you get a massive production bonus to robots. I'm probably not going to go down that way. The middle path with Ways of the Wasteland gives you a generic bonus for land doctrine. Motorized infantry equipment becomes cheaper to produce. And get a little bit more soft attack. And more, a lot of more speed. Holy cow. But tools of our ancestors sound like fun. They go asymmetrical warfare. You get more division organization and recovery which rate, which isn't bad. And then Bushido Code... A flat 15% to attack and defense for infantry. I'm kind of liking that a lot. And of course, you want to choose your Oyabun. So, Warlord Kaze, Autocracy, Democracy, which gives you more population. This gives you more motorized, oligarchic people. And then Venter, which gives you more techno technology or technocracy, which is fun. But I do want to remind everyone, or let you guys know, actually, not even remind you, that, um,. <clears throat> Eventually, you might be able to choose Skynet Defenses. It gives you even more bonuses to robots, which sounds fun. And a research slot. Or Riches of the Depot, which you can produce more infantry equipment. And get stripped power armor, scavenged power armor, and stuff like that. Um, really, whatever I choose won't 
no one will be happy with. So, with that in mind, I'm just going to go choose Asymmetrical Warfare. I want to see how strong my infantry can become. Really? I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, we have Samurai Divisions. They're actually not bad. They're 16 combat width. There's no dynamite or anything explosive around here. But that's okay. We don't need everything to be explosive in the beginning. But I do need to train two at a time for what I'm going to do. Because I would really, really like to take out Vault City as much as possible. Or as quick as possible, actually. Because early game, we will get a war annexation goal against them. They have one division. We have five. They have four new Reno. New Reno can be dealt with a little bit later. Oh, and also... Ooh, playing with... Oh, so stories are told among the Yakuza of the origins of the people. They spoke of a great red menace, one which threatened their very way of life. Those ancient people, though, escaped their home and fled to the east. The Yamaguchi helped with this, bringing together who they could find. Priests, soldiers, and fighters. The Yamaguchi, when they fled their home, could have also brought sur supplies and riches from their houses. What do the stories tell of them bringing? So, they brought blades, which gives us two technologies, and some infantry equipment, which is nice. They brought scrolls and hollow tapes, which gives us a flat research speed bonus for the rest of the game, which sounds pretty darn awesome. They rode out with style, taking with them bikes of metal. And you can get more divisions, get motorcycles, but I'm not really focusing on motorcycles. I'm going to save my motorcycles and really more motorized group for when I play the 80s, which I haven't done yet, but it will eventually. So, I'm probably going to go with research speed just because it's a flat bonus the entire campaign. Yeah, this would be really nice right now, but let's do that. Anyways, survive with much strife. We may now live in this wasteland, but we won't for long if we don't figure out how we will defend our new holdings. And we only have a total amount of 35,000 eligible core population, which isn't much. We're currently on the conscription level, petty gang conscription. It's not bad. A little more organization, 5% recruitable population, minus 5% supply consumption, and more stability. But we survive with much strife, and people already are at war. Holy cow. Wait. Wait. Um... How did you do that? Wait, I don't think I... Did I set... Maybe I set this up weirdly. Tlalo Khan is dead. And Santa Ana just act, annexed everyone. Oh, wait, no. Moctezuma did. Not Santa Ana. That's Moctezuma. What did... Did I do that? I must have done that. I've never seen that happen before. But anyways. That's Mexico. And we don't... We're not even close there. So, of course, the stories matter little in the world. We have, have it now. Our United... Yakuza clans have unified the scattered gangs and raiders surrounding Carson and formed a semi-unified governance. However, New Reno's poses a great, tremendous threat to our independence. How best do we want to deal with this? Through a lightning offensive, so basically what this will give us, if we choose this, is just raise our conscription level to the next level. 150 political power, it's okay, you get less stability, you, so you take some more supply, which I don't like. Through fanatical defense against outsiders, we basically build a wall around Carson City and get more war support. Through tolerance and spreading of our faith, so which hurts our ability to justify on other people, which I really don't like. It helps if people want to justify on us, but whatever. Through trade and diplomacy, which we get a flat plus 0.2 daily political power for the rest of the game. But we lose 5 scrap and get a non-aggression pact with the New Reno. Which actually, if I want to go to war with the Vault City as fast as possible, and I get a flat 0.2 political power for the rest of the game, which will come in handy for the next 15 years, that's worth it, I think. And New Reno takes a bait. We have now have a non-aggression pact with New Reno, giving us a bit of time to prepare in the case of attack against them. And I can use that political power for when the followers of the influ followers of the apocalypse come, and other things like coring territory. So our sun rises. What will we hold close to our hearts while heading out into the future? I don't know. Guns, drugs, probably lots of drugs. And right now we get about oh we have an upgrade already. Yeah, strong back, power armor, rooted. Gun nut, division attack, and defense. I'm not using robots. I need to use robots sometime. Organization lesson moving. Just go with gun nut for now. If once we get enough command power, get about 0.63 a day. Not bad. I wish you had an image there. I would love to see who Bushi Dohido is, but whatever. Oh, it would help if I sped the game up a little bit more. But we get 1.23 political power a day. Very nice. We can call for raids. We are a raider nation, which is cool. With the matter of our strategy against New Reno settled, we can now look towards the future. What path will the Yakuza set themselves on, and what will they keep close to their hearts and remember as much as a march towards the future? Oh, look, I can buy guns or buy drugs. I love the drugs. Wow, entrenchment speed, a lot more defense. Ooh, buff out's crazy. Jet gives us a little bit more attack, more experienced soldier loss, less division organization, but more division speed, and you get withdrawal. They lose a little bit of organization. The more withdrawn, the worse the catastrophe. Or purchase Psycho for 
25% more attack, way more attrition, way less organization, but more organization at the same time, and division speed. I like that psycho stuff. Do we want to build an empire? Do we want to build a snowman? No, we want to build an empire. More stability, civilian workshops. They will dream of an empire, get vacuum tubes, technology stuff. They will remember home, more support stability, but the she won't like us. Or they will conquer an empire, which will get more war support, army XP, and a bonus, double 30% bonus for land auction, which I kind of like that one the most. It gives us war support, which is a little bit more difficult to come by than stability, because with that extra political power every day, we can get more stability. But war support, you can kind of do the same, but it's a little bit more difficult to do. And I like that land doctrine. Even though... Ooh. Oh, ooh, uh, you know what? Do the kamikaze group. Right now, who That's us. We're still with the Yamaguchi. That's fine. And now this is where it's interesting. So, I want to prepare for expansion, but we need 1.3 thousand manpower in the field. That's fine. Uh, Carson Industry, which gives us more industry quicker, which is good. It takes only 20 days. We can choose our Oyabun, which gives us 15 days more political power, which is actually really nice, which is something we're going to need very soon. But we could also train our people. What I'm going to do is choose our Oyabun so we get that political power. So our clan ship is fragmented, and it is a good idea to decide whom among us will lead our people for the time being. And keep in mind, uh, while we choose right now, ultimately, who we choose to lead us will be determined down here for the most part, I believe. So, um, Cool. Keep in mind your disrespected peoples, which people don't like us. Improve relations, maintain costs. Uh, trade your opinion factor. Join faction t tension limit. Guarantee tension limit. So, gotta keep those in mind. We definitely need a lot of infantry equipment. Ooh, we've got a lot of that, though. But I need as much manpower in the field as possible, so I'm going to auto-deploy you guys as soon as I can. Yeah, they have, like, no strength. And we need more manpower, which is why I want to get that extra political power, because... Besides having wasteland economy, which we'll, we need to get out of eventually, it's going to take some time. We have a military high command leader, gives us more attack, of course. More attack and less defense. Raider recruiter gives us five, a whole 5% more population. And punishing raider, which is okay. Choosing your Oya Boon, good. Next up, factories. Um, This really doesn't matter too much right now. Uh, infrastructure. That's, that stuff is all okay. I need... How much manpower do we have in the field right now? 1.2? Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, you know what? Let me cut down to 1 so we can concentrate forces there. I'm going to make sure that we get the other division out as soon as possible so I can go to war with Vault City as soon as possible. But let's go train our people. Our people lack the industriousness of the NCR or the tenacity of the Legion. Let's fix that by instilling morals into them. Get even more army XP. But yeah, I definitely, definitely need that uh, extra manpower. Call for raid. I don't like this just because you lose stability. You get more war support, but I don't know. It's alright. I haven't really ever done that. I could expel the riffraff. I can buy some drugs. Oh, wait. I can buy guns. I I did have someone, one of my commenters, subscribers, leave a comment saying that uh, I should use this sometime. It costs caps, which we have enough caps. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. That's a good idea. That's a really, really good idea. Oh, the art of haggling. Nice, and that'll definitely help with this, especially when I want to throw on some dynamite on our divisions, because we're going to need some thick dynamite, boys. But let's go ahead and do this. Give me that population, because we're going to need it very soon. Eh, probably, at least. Good, good, good. Let me plop you out as soon as you're ready to go. I need you out in the field. Well, pretty much. Since once, once this is done... Oh, Desert Rangers go to war with the Jackals. Very cool. I need to play the Desert Rangers again sometime. I went with the Steel Rangers on this channel before, when I played as them. That was my shortest campaign ever. And he plays with the NCR Rangers or the Independent Rangers, whatever you call them. Uh, ah, Construction Basics. Good. I love Construction Basics and a lot of other stuff, too. Uh, work is needed. I think we are civilized, so that's good. We want, we want planes, of course. I think that'd be cool. I'll give some planes. Yakuza planes. Look at all this. I can't believe we already have all this research. It's really kind of cool. Even logistic companies. Um, land Doctrine, Air Stuff, Gliders. We might consider doing that as well. Let's get some reinforced rate, though. I really want to use close air support in this campaign. I like close air support a lot. I like it a whole lot. How many divisions do they have? Three. That's not good. They some more manpower. We trained our people. More army XP. Oh, wait. Oh, now we need to plop you out. Thank you very much. Now you're going to go down to there, and you're going to do that. Very good, very good. And that should give us enough 
There you go. 1.4, supposedly, right? There you go. Prepare for expansion. Our clans are starting to feel cramped within the confines of Carson, and our enemies grow stronger every day. We are surrounded by three strong nations with Vault City, New Reno, and the Rangers. We have to expand now, lest we lose a chance later. We get more manpower and an arms workshop. Very good. The earlier you go down this path, the easier the first year, first few years will be. If you want a more challenging experience, don't do that super early like I am. Um, can I do anything else? The Promise of Loot. That sounds nice. Weekly War Support, but we're pretty good right now. We'll lose 30%, so we might want to think about that a little bit later on. Uh, for now, I don't mind hiring a new guy, just because only three political power. Ta Takimori Inoi? Something like that. What is that? He is... Oh my gosh! Targeting... Co You're a computer? You get... Oh, why do you get so much less experience gain? No, you get more attack, but please, come on, man. Why? Why you do this to me? Oh, Field Marshal, you, you hurt me so much. Division recovery rate. Defense. Um, he's gonna, We're going to focus mostly on just infantry. I'll be honest here. So, anything I can help boost my infantry as much as possible, that would be great. You really can't get power armor. I mean, you can, but it's okay. You're not like the Brotherhood or anything, so. Uh, I could train my guys, but I need to make sure I have enough infantry equipment. So... I'm not going to do that in 23 days. We'll have uh, 500 units. Uh, you know what? Maybe train anyways. Ah, uh, slaves escape from Vault City. Tyranny is known around the wasteland, although they might justify slavery as a favoritism to primitives. We know that freedom is the right of every wastelander, and they've always looked on with dismay. Earlier this morning, slaves crossed the border with Vault City forces in hot pursuit. Our troops met them at the border, and Vault City is now demanding we turn over the slaves. What shall we do? I want to go to war with you as fast as possible, so I don't really care. Hopefully they don't attack me like this. That'd be very bad. That'd be really, really bad. For sure, the council, three divisions. Oh, they're on settlement levies, which is good to see. That's a lot of stability. Holy cow. That is a lot of stability. Ah, oh, did we get more money? We got paid a little bit more. Nice. We get 28, almost 29 bottle cups a month. Very good. 65. I could do promise of loot. But I'm going to go to war very, very soon. So we want to weigh on that maybe just a wee bit. Anything here? I probably will get... Takamori Yamamoto for more attack. Yeah, I think that'd be good. I want as much attack as possible. Expanding the gang, which is pretty good for justifying. Um, stubborn Bastard Yoshinori Itagaki. It's not bad. Cultural Advisors. This guy's okay. Less stability. That's okay. Camp Pusher's okay. Friends in High Places. That's okay. That's not great. Slaving Bastard. War Industrialist. Now, this is weird here that you can get like guys that improves opinion with new reno kind of odd but whatever you know i'll roll with it oh we also want oh iron alliance troll war and carcass walkers land doctrine stuff conventional warfare i could have gone down that way but whatever we want this guy but at the same time i didn't go down with well-equipped army so thank you combat language good get some decryption get some encryption we're almost done. Go ahead and stop doing that. Oh, you're already regulars. Great. And keep making dynamite. I'm not going to put make anything else for now. I'm not going to put it on my soldiers just because... I don't think we really need it. Oh, wait. We need 1.6 thousand. Is that enough? I don't, I don't know if that's enough. Oh, that is... That's just enough. Northern expansion. So, Vault City is currently in a vulnerable spot. And we could attack if we so wished. However, it is very far away from Carson. And thus, we will... Have to make some choices about how we wish to integrate it as part of our assets. Yes, yeah, so I want war as fast as possible. By that time, they're going to have at least the same number of divisions as we do. Which isn't ideal, but whatever. That gives us time to actually throw on a little bit of these guys. So if I do this, there's a battalion. You get 11 more soft attack and 10 more defense. If I were to do this, you get less soft attack and less defense. 15 demo equipment. And it costs 20 here, so that makes sense. Um... For now, go ahead and do that. That should be okay. I'd rather have really strong divisions now than later. That's going to really hurt our production of this. That's fine. I want to make sure that the divisions we have are currently very, very damaging to the enemy as much as possible. Oh, here goes the Aquaman Nation. Um, anything else? Not really. I could buy more. Let's, let's buy a little more. Yeah, why not? Let's buy a little bit more. That'd be very good. Military High Command, Brute. I might just go with Aggressive Attacker. 10% defense isn't great, but 20% more attack? That sounds really, really nice. Oh, and I might have to raise Conscription later. I'm glad we have that guy who gives us 5% more of our population. That really does help out quite a bit, especially early game. 
But with that extra, with those extra weapons, that'd be so nice. And you know what? I'm gonna do it like this, just because we're gonna make them anyways. Good. I want more dynamite. That's gonna be the bread and butter of uh, our winning, us winning. Good. Uh, we're training. We have no air. We have no navy. Op we're not gonna focus on the navy for quite a while. There's really no point to. What is New Reno up to actually? They've gone with the Salvadors. Oh, the followers' influence. Look at him, Mason. Hello there. You guys have about the same number of divisions. You might be elites. Elite. Hmm. Courtyard inequality. Good. Your war support isn't very good. That'll go down when we go to war, which is fine with me. We're about to get paid a little bit more. Carcass walkers have been annexed. Scavenging program. That's okay. We'll do that eventually. Marrow drinkers. Oh. Interesting. I definitely need more scrap metal. Oh god, I'm not going to read this because this happens every game. So, the problem with this is that I don't early game you don't really have a lot of means of getting rid of the followers of the apocalypse. And they're not bad to have. You know what? Just let them come. I really don't care about them. I really don't. Uh, Kaisar. I could really use some of that. Huh, okay, yeah, we'll do that. And... I don't mind if they're established. They really don't hurt us that much, so... Es I don't mind escorting them. It only costs us 40, and they won't hate us too much, so I could divert their supplies. We can wait on that. Play keep the followers. Um, White legs. That was fast. Holy cow, that was really fast. Usually you go to war with the timekeepers first, but whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll accept that. Very nice, very nice. Oh, woodworking. Nice. Good, we'll do that too. To a procurement. Uh, we'll do that, and then... We're still doing land... No, we're not. Good. Forging. Good. Very good. And you guys are looking pretty darn decent. Go ahead and stop training. We want to go to war pretty much immediately. We could do Western Expansion, but let's not do that. We don't want to piss everyone else off. Art of War. I want to go Tools of Our Ancestors just because it's asymmetrical warfare. Master of the Blade. You get more attack and defense, which will come in handy, especially this early game. So, Art of War. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Good. Um, I should have paid a little bit more attention to see if we were ready to go. Give me like a few more days until we have enough organization and... You know what? Let's wait a week because I want to make sure we have enough stuff in supply. Uh, oh. Oh. You know what? Go ahead and just go to war. Go ahead if you can. Move in. If you can't move in... Oh, crap. Yep, that's disappointing. Oh, you might be able to win actually. You come here and do that. You might be able to win here as well. You might not. Oh, secret language. Go do that. That's okay for now. Could we win here? Maybe not. Can we win here? You know what? Oh, profits from drug trade. Jet, buff out, psycho, mentats, and even good old-fashioned Mary Jane are making a killing, literally, for some people. But for every person whose life is ruined by narcotics, there's a person who sold them the drugs that did them in. We're able to profit, though, from this lucrative trade and can use the profits to fund our armies. You know what? That sounds really good. That sounds so good, I might buy some drugs for us right now. Can I get some Psycho? Give him more attack, my boys! Uh, you know what? Help out as well. Can we beat these robots back? That'd be awesome. If we can't, that's still okay. You know what? Is it never going to go up at all? I God, I hope so. This number is going up, which is nice. No, it's not going up. Come on. Give us something. No, just hold. Just... Stop wasting time. You guys attack here. If we can bust through here, that'd be great. You know, give them force attack. Hit them even harder, as hard as you possibly can. Um, next up. Economic advisors. Slave flogger. Ooh, chem pusher. Businesses. Good stuff like that. Can I get... Oh, look at that stability. That's really not bueno. Can buy more guns. Grant the followers bases. That's fine. Yeah, I, I can use a little bit more stability, not gonna lie. Let's do that. Mobilize the people. Save some more of our political power. At least win here. We've lost 21 versus 17. You know, whatever. They're using robots. Robots are hard to kill off. They're really hard to kill off. Come on, we've almost won here. Oh, Art of War, good. We need. We have plenty of guns. Let's do tools of our ancestors. We brought with us the tools to make better blades, and then anyone in the wastes. And we would be foolish to abandon that. 
Let's double down on the blade and master its intricacies to make us the greatest warriors in the wasteland. Absolutely. So we really, really need more dynamite. Or grenades. Oh, very good. Good job. And you know what? Immediately attack that way, and you come up here. I want to spread myself out just a little bit more thinly so that maybe I can bait the enemy into attacking me, making them think that we are weak-ish. You know what, actually? You don't help attack. You come up here. You know what? You come there. Could we try an encirclement? Maybe. Oh, we're getting paid soon. That's good. Or followers are established. That's fine with me. Good. Take that. We're going to encircle and destroy this division early on. Good. Crush them. Go ahead and hold. Oh, we might get encircled ourselves. That would be very not bueno. Organize agriculture. Seed selections. Oh, we're getting attacked down here, too. That's not good. Oh, nice. Good. Oh, hold on. Just kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Oh, that's not okay. Come on, hurry up, kill them off. Twisted hairs, that's okay if you let them stay there for now. Because I want to take out Gecko. Can we do something like that? The enemies are all fully engaged, and I don't know why they're not attacking me here. But you know what? That's okay. That is A-OK -okay with me. You just hold. You just kind of hang out. Take Vault City, if we can. We have another division. Ah, the fall of Vault City. Better fighting over Vault City is starting to cease. The Yakuza territories are starting to clean up what's left of Vault City, while the residents are unsure of what to expect from their new overlords. As the Yakuza territories takes the treasure of the Vault to blank, who would have thought such a city could even be taken? Get the courtyard. Look, we demand it. The Yakuza clan demands we take the courtyard. Did I miss it? Nope. They should capitulate now. Beautiful. Ah! Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. And you know what? For fun. For f lots and lots of fun. Let's manual ju manually justify on these guys. Huh. Or not. These pale folk look like they're going to get easily taken out eventually. Do that for now. We're going to need some support equipment as well. Um, I like planes. We'll do planes eventually. LMGs, I never found them that interesting. Get some guns too. Ripe Rolt Territory. How strong are these guys? Wait. They have their own focus tree? Not, well, kind of, yeah, kind of, but not really. How strong are they? Four to six divisions. These guys will fall very quickly to these guys. If I want to expand... Yeah. Yeah. Or we can do this territory. So we could surround New Reno. That sounds like more fun. Six to seven divisions versus four to six. Yeah, let's go Cyclops Tribes. Why not? Only 185 days. That'd be great. Easy peasy. I can't believe that worked that much, that's that easily, to be honest with you. I tried this before. What the hell, man? What the hell? Oh, look at that. Wait. Who are you? Katin Lube Maya. <gasps> Oh, that's right. I made them go Mayan this time. Oh, that's right. Holy hell, that's an awesome flag. I've never seen them go this way. I'm glad I made them go this way. Holy cow. That's a lot of manpower. That's very nice. We got some things going up there. Boost caps market. 50% bottle caps gain? <gasps> wow. Wow. I played the Chichen Itza a long time ago. Man. Man, oh man. Placate the followers. Uh, honestly, I'm feeling pretty good now. We have purchased the Psycho. When removed, will cause withdrawal. We're at peace. Not bad. Tools of our ancestors. You know what? Now we can study the Vault 8 mainframe to get a research slot or scrap the computers. Uh, that's nice, but having an extra research slot is really much better. The Vault 8 computers hold many secrets on the nearby territory as well as tons of technological secrets of the pre-war era. It will simply take us time to unravel these. Five research slots... And you know what? I've played as a Yakuza before on my own time. I think you get up to seven. Uh oh, psychotic. Oh, break. Extensive use of chems in our combat units have provoked wildly violent outbursts with widespread violence seemingly committed with no regard for rank, past relations, or even civilian safety. Those psychotic break mostly touch from frontline units, but they also have been reported in rear line divisions as well. We, we must deploy non affected units at once to contain the soldiers undergoing those outbursts, lest they provoke even more damage to our infrastructure along with senseless killing of civilians. 
27% chance of the civilian workshops receive damage. We lose money. Oh my god! Ah! Now, we're spending minus 25 per quarter. Oh my god. The followers establish themselves. Uh, this happens every time. I'm not going to really pay attention to it too much, so... Um, uh, civilian workshops? Sure. The capture of the... Oh. Okay, so the mineral drinkers have won, I guess. Black market. Yeah, the black market, as soon as I use it, we got people killing each other. Killing civilians and killing each other. That... That doesn't always work out really well for everyone. Promise of loot. I kind of like to do that. Washington Brotherhood declare war on the cause. Prior towards living standards. You know what? I want to do more basic hygiene education. Just because... It's pretty good. Hmm. Followers aid. Medical chems. Even more research. That's pretty good. We're okay on resources for now. Followers influence. Good stuff. Division organization. For how long, though? I'd like to know how long that would take. For us to get rid of that. We're under Yuriko, which is good. 21 factories already. Really good. And I do want more stability. Oh, and actually, you know what? I should have done this earlier. Just repair everything we have. Go ahead and repair. Right now we need more demo equipment. Infantry equipment looking very good. Very, very good. Start making some anti-tank stuff. We want to research some planes, which we're doing with gliders. Gliders are okay, but I definitely want close air support. This money thing is hurting me. Just seeing negative money, not very good. Oh, we got a lot of Yamaguchi here. A lot of Yama, Yama, Yamaguchi. Only two factories. Do that one first, just because that'll help. Put the military factories underneath. There you go. That'll help. Oh, but not bad. This is actually doing really, really well. The cause was annexed. Expected, of course. Perceptive. Ah, that was actually really awesome. Rifle to clear territories to clear one. These guys, I might take go to war with these guys eventually. The 80s aren't doing well whatsoever, which is interesting to say the least. What path did they go down? Sell animal skins. I know this one pretty well. I've already made a campaign over the white legs. Handle the 80s. Did they manually go to war with them? They might have. Sappers, bone breakers. Oh, let's choose bottle caps. Da, da, da. No slavery, drugs legalized. That's fine. Um, we all love drugs here, don't we? All, don't we all? More political power. Uh, less organization for more war sports. Okay. Chief of army, justify war goals. Time. Ah, uh, let's do that one. I'm gonna go to war as fast as I possibly can. Oh, resistors. I love resistors. Reinforce rate gets better, which is good. Desert Rangers declare war on Vipers. Let's make two of these guys at a time. That would be good to do that. Vault City will be great. And we need a little bit more stuff. Probably demo equipment. Study the Vault 8 mainframe. Um, this is all good stuff. Even more attack. I didn't even, didn't even need to go down that way to do well. So, here's something we need to do. We can incorporate Vault City. Or we can loot Vault City, which... We hurt Vault City quite a bit. We lose factories and infrastructure. We do get stability and effect of our partisans, but I'm going to do that instead of incorporate Vault City because later on, you can either establish the Kanto, Kanto colony, which we needs loot Vault City, which is really awesome, or you implement citizenship programs, which you lose population factor and training time, but you get stability and division organization. So I'm going to go ahead and loot Vault City. So, Vault City has an immense amount of resources from their old vault, and we care more about that than preserving the old style of governance that, that they ran. Let's purge the rulership of the city, loot and raid the city, then bring the riches south to Carson. Perfect. And we have a fifth research slot. A fifth research slot already. Beautiful. Amazing. I want some katanas. But that's going to be the end of today's episode, guys. We are out of time. But I really hope you enjoyed this first episode using or playing as the Yakuza Territories. We've done extraordinarily well in my mind. But anyways, like I said, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we shall go to war with the Cyclops tribes and maybe someone else close to us. Thanks for watching, guys, and hope you have a great rest of your day.